What is up? Are you ready for some fun? Well, let's improve our English vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar, and so much more with Avatar, The Last Airbender. Hello, Zuko here. But quickly, before we get into today's lesson, I wanted to let you know that if you're new here, every week we help you to understand fast speaking natives without getting lost, without missing the jokes, and without subtitles. Just like Jacob, who says that he can't remember the last time that he laughed so much learning English. So if you want to have a lot of fun and improve your English a ton too, it's really simple. Just hit that subscribe button and the bell down below so you don't miss a single one of our new videos. Now let's jump into today's lesson. Aw yeah! In these first two clips, we see this character, Zuko, who apparently has yet to convince Team Avatar that he's not an enemy. When he says they must be surprised to see him, Sokka replies, Not really, since you've followed us all over the world. Right. This shows how natives often use since to explain a reason for something. In this example, you can even replace since for because. Look, I hate to be the wet blanket here, but since Katara is busy, I guess it's up to me. Here, since is used at the beginning of a sentence. Because would not sound correct in the same position. Since I got you here, uh, there's something I want to tell you. I like you, but more than normal. Never mind. What other words do we use instead of since or because? Both B and C are correct. Cuz is actually a shortening of the word because the natives use often in informal speech and writing. Not to be confused with the noun cause, for example, cause and effect. You may also see cuz written as C U Z. Now let's polish your pronunciation. Let's take a look at how he said what I wanted to tell you. Anyway, what I wanted to tell you about is that I've changed. Notice how these words blend together? He doesn't say what I wanted, he says what I wanted. Then he continues to say to tell you. Here it's important to know that to is pronounced with a schwa, t. Finally, the t at the end of about is a glottal t, about not about. This is common in English when a word ends in a vowel followed by a t. So altogether it is what I wanted to tell you about. What I wanted to tell you about. What I wanted to tell you about. You can't possibly think that any of us would trust you, can you? I mean, how stupid do you think we are? Yeah, all you've ever done is try to hunt us down and capture Aang. Did you notice this short question at the end of the sentence? You can't possibly think that any of us would trust you, can you? This is called a question tag, and it's great to add to your English if you haven't already. So you could say, it's a beautiful day. But you could also turn that into a question, so that you invite the other person to give you a reply. So you'd add, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? Question tags can be a bit difficult if you don't understand how they work grammatically. Be sure to check our Instagram where we've explained exactly that. Check out these other examples. You little peasant. You found a master, haven't you? You didn't think you could get out of training just by coming to the Fire Nation, did you? Well, I'm impressed. You are an excellent waterbender. But you still won't teach me, will you? No. Use question tags as conversation starters so you can practice your English more. Leave a comment down below to practice. I've done some good things. I mean, 
I could have stolen your bison and bossing say, but I set him free. That's something. To set someone free means to cause them to be free, to release him or her. Now, he also said the expression, that's something. We use this when we want to say that in a situation that's generally bad, there's at least one good thing. Example, she may not be the best worker, but she always tries hard, and that's something. Appa does seem to like him. He probably just covered himself in honey or something so that Appa would lick him. I'm not buying it. When we say, I don't buy it, or more often in the present continuous, I'm not buying it, we mean that we don't believe something is true. With that in mind, in which of these clips is the word buy used in this sense? Get your grimy hiney to the market and buy me some real food! You might have everyone else here buying your transformation. Where did you guys get the money to buy all this stuff? You might have everyone else here buying your transformation, but you and I both know you've struggled with doing the right thing in the past. Hey guys, just a quick interruption. Would you like to be able to understand natives even when we speak really fast? Then I highly recommend that you join our free masterclass where we will teach you the three keys to being able to understand natives no matter how fast we speak. You can learn more and sign up by clicking up here or down in the description below. I look forward to seeing you inside. If you won't accept me as a friend, then maybe you'll take me as a prisoner. No, we won't! <laughs> Get out of here and don't come back. And if we ever see you again, well, we'd better not see you again. She says had better to strongly suggest he doesn't come back. We often contract this with a pronoun. You'd better, he'd better. In a general sense, this is used to say we should do something to avoid a negative consequence. It's almost sundown, we'd better hurry. Here it is again, used in a more threatening tone. Lieutenant, you'd better learn some respect or I will teach it to you. Uh, I can't believe how stupid I am. I mean, what was I thinking? Telling them I sent an assassin after them? Why didn't I just say Azula did that? They would've believed that. Stupid! When someone is really upset and regrets something that they did or said, they could say, what was I thinking? Or what were you thinking? When demanding someone else an explanation while expressing their frustration. Us kissing? See, it was a crazy idea. Us kissing. <laughs> Us kissing. <laughs> what was I thinking? Can you imagine that? Next, he says, I sent an assassin after them. First of all, an assassin is someone that has the intention to kill or assassinate a person. Often, this is someone who kills people professionally. They are paid to do it. He used the phrasal verb send after. This means you send someone to follow or catch someone. Example, the king sent a messenger after the knight to deliver his request. Listen. I know I didn't explain myself very well yesterday. I've been through a lot in the past few years, and it's been hard. You probably know what explain means, but when used with a reflexive pronoun like myself, yourself, etc., it's used to clarify what someone has said or done or their intentions. Example, if you have a few minutes, I'll try to explain myself. Now, notice the use of through here. I've been through a lot in the past few years. We often say through to talk about issues or problems we've had or are having. When talking about the past, we say, I've been through problems, issues, a hard time. If you want to talk about the present, use go, as in, I'm going through some issues. His life has recently changed and he's going through very difficult times. Oh dear, you've been through so much recently. Hurt and betrayed, so twisted up inside. Hey, are you an anime fan? Well then I highly recommend that you check out this lesson with one of my favorites, Dragon Ball Z. So you can find that by clicking up here or down in the description below after you finish this lesson. I'd like you to teach me.
Thank you. I'm so happy you've accepted me into your group. Not so fast. I still have to ask my friends if it's okay with them. Toph, you're the one that Zuko burned. What do you think? Go ahead and let him join. It'll give me plenty of time to get back at him for burning my feet. We say, not so fast, to tell someone they need to wait until being happy for something, feeling enthusiastic, or believing something. Then, Tuff says a few interesting phrases. Go ahead and let him join. It'll give me plenty of time to get back at him for burning my feet. First of all, we say, go ahead, to give permission when someone asks us to do something. Example, can I use your computer? Go ahead. Then she says, plenty. This is just another word for a lot, many, or much. When talking about time, we often say, there's plenty of time to do something. I'll make a fire. There's plenty of stuff to burn in there. Don't be such a worry wart like your sister. Think of it this way. Now you have plenty of money to help with the invasion plan. Finally, Tuff says she wants to get back at Zuko for burning her feet. In this context, can you guess what this phrase of verb means? You know, Sumeru did have a strange look in his eye back there. It's pretty obvious he went to get his revenge on Akahoshi. <gasps> Sokka? Hey, all I want is to defeat the Fire Lord. If you think this is the way to do it, then I'm all for it. In a game, competition, or a fight, if you defeat the other person, you win and they lose. Another word for this is beat. It's the duty of the Avatar to restore balance to the world by defeating Fire Lord Ozai. I don't need to remind you, we have a time limit. If we don't defeat the Water Tribe before the full moon rises, they will be undefeatable. I assure you, I have everything under control. Then he says, I'm all for it. We say this when we want to say that we fully support something. If you think this is the way to do it, then I'm all for it. Remember that clip with buy being used to mean not believing something? I'm not buying it. Here it is again. You might have everyone else here buying your transformation, but you and I both know you've struggled with doing the right thing in the past. If you struggle with something, it means it's not easy for you to do or achieve something. Example, I passed my writing exam, but I struggled with the speaking part. So let me tell you something right now. You make one step backward, one slip up, give me one reason to think you might hurt Aang, and you won't have to worry about your destiny anymore. A slip up is a mistake. We also use this as a verb, to slip up. Gohan, listen very carefully. You must leave this planet now and take Piccolo with you, got it? Uh, uh, uh. This is the last time I'm going to tell you! Get out of here right now, Gohan! 